Hi guys, Nick here with BitGalaxis, continuing on my series where we're building up a space combat prototype. And in this video, I am going to cover camera controls and how we can follow our ship. And also, I've added something extra, is a giant asteroid field. So we have some reference points to see how our ship was moving. Originally, I was going to make this video about some tweaks and some modifications to the movement of our ship because... As you could probably tell just by watching it now, there seems to be some kind of issues with it. It's not exactly what we want, and I was going to improve that. But I realized with my old camera system, I was just kind of looking back and relying on the trail renderer. But I wanted to make sure that we could actually see how our ship is moving in the way that we would actually view it really in-game. And so if I didn't have that, how can I really say, well, we've perfected our motion of our ship? So that's what I was focusing on, getting those extra references with the asteroids getting some cameras in place, and we're gonna go over that right now. So, I'm gonna go back to my very first camera. I, I have it set so when I press C, I change my camera. And this camera is actually what I call the rig cam. And the rig cam is effectively set up so that I have an empty game object that's put in as a child to the ship itself, the ship game object. And as a child, I'm simply telling it in the script, the camera needs to attach itself to wherever the rig is and then also take on the transform rotation of the rig. So wherever my rig is, is and wherever it's looking in relationship to in relation to itself is where the camera is. So the, the since the rig is a child of the ship, wherever the ship goes, the camera goes um, and follows the rig behind that ship. And wherever the ship rotates, the rig is also going to rotate appropriately without needing to do any kind of advanced calculations and I'll show you that once I get to the scripting. I also have a top cam and the top cam is really a top down cam and it really is just uh, a, this is calculations we actually don't have a rig we could actually make it a rig and I'll show you how we can make the top cam a rig but I'll show you the script that is actually calculating how the top cam works so that's the second type of camera and then the last cam is a follow cam. This is one that is doing some calculations and kind of following and adjusting how quickly it turns based on how fast the ship is moved out of sight. And this is kind of an interesting camera. Um, it, it's not, you know, not directly locked into the ship itself. And so it looks like we may, you know, kind of like are flying behind the ship a little bit, um, but more of an interesting and entertaining viewpoint, but it also kind of gives us some more insight into how the ship is moving and if we can make it look more natural, but also probably how our final camera will actually work a little bit. So we need to make our ship look good in coordination with that camera as well. So we may have to do some tweaking to both. And you can see I'm firing lasers. I don't have any sound effects for that yet. I don't even have collisions on the asteroids. Uh, this is really just me trying to play around with the visuals of the motions. So anyway, let's get into the setup. So. First thing we want to look at is the main camera. I've got the target set up. I have a script, basically, the follow cam script. Um, and so it really is for my all three of my camera types. But I have a target, which is the actual ship itself, a rig, which right now it just takes one rig. You could probably put uh, a list in here and have multiple rigs and drop them in there. And my C, my C control could actually be programmed to cycle through each rig location so that if you wanted to have multiple different viewpoints you could do that and you could also include other types of, of cameras as well but um, there's probably much more robust ways of doing it this you know the way I have it now is just simplistic for my needs um, and that's something that can be expanded upon and changed and I probably will at some point but right now I'm keeping it really simple and just kind of iterating through improvements as I go then I have a distance. So my distance is for my for my target cam and my follow cam. They're really using the distance to calculate how far they should be. And then the rotation speed is only for my follow cam. And I call it the back cam because I called it follow cam in the script. And you can't have the function that's named as the, the script's namespace so or the script's class. So uh, that's why I called it back cam. But we'll go ahead and look at that script right now. And in our script, we have our target. So we basically have a public transform target. And right now that's equal null, so you have to set that. Uh, obviously, I set that to the ship itself. The public transform rig is also null, and I set that to the rig. The public float distance, public float rotation speed. 
then I have a Vector3 camera position, and I use this in my back cam. And this is kind of the, the one that follows behind the ship like it's you know being followed by another ship. And then I also have a Vector3 smooth position, and this is smoothing that camera as well. I also have a smooth time, which is how quickly it smooths. And then I have my float angle. And one of the things I'm doing is in my back cam, I am trying to find the difference in angle between the ship and my the ship's direction and the direction my camera is pointing and if that angle increases the camera's speed is allowed to increase to try and catch up to it so then I have a private int cam type and this is just an integer that I'm using to iterate through the cameras um, this is not robust this is just something that it wasn't you know the key focus I didn't want to throw something complex and have people look at it going what is that doing that's not the focus of the script it's just trying to go through each camera don't worry about that too much because we really want to focus on fixed updates uh, how we're getting to each showing each cam type and then going to the cam code itself but in fixed update actually in void update I'm getting the input and changing which camera using in fixed update I'm actually switching you know and running whichever cam is selected so basically every time I press C you know it's it's going through zero one two zero each time I press Z C and so it's jumping from the rig cam at first and it goes to the top cam and then it goes to the back cam and it goes back to the rig cam and if it's somehow messed up it's gonna go to rig cam each time so rig cam really simple rig cam is just saying take the transform dot position so our cameras position and set its position to the rig's position. Same thing with the rotation. Take our transform rotation and set it to the rig's rotation. And so that rig that we took, that empty game object, on our camera, I've set the rig equal to rig, and the rig is this object here. You see this child object? I have my, my waveform, the actual waveform itself, and then you know I have like that little render trail and a light for the a light in the engine, and then I have an audio source which actually isn't set to anything right now nope I don't have anything so you can't hear the ship at all um, and then I have the rig the rig is where the camera will go and so if I wanted to do my top cam in theory I could easily do it by dragging this forward and then setting its rotation to 90 degrees it'll face down and I could drag that forward and then move it up and it would work exactly the same as the top cam um, and that's and that's how that would how you would do the top cam without having to do a top cam you could actually just set a second rig and then call it top cam um, but anyway so I didn't do that because I wanted to show you how you could do that with code so there's the rig cam just set up an empty game object rotate it the way you want position it the way you want relative to the object you want to follow and it's always going to stay that way and I'm going to show you that one, again really quick on how the rig cam works this is the very first one and that's the rig cam you saw we put it behind the ship when I rotate the ship, the rig cam rotates with it, uh, so it's actually following the ship right behind, and that's it. That's all you got to do. It's, it's right there. You can see it, and that's how it's always going to be. Now, the top cam. Top cam is basically going to act like a rig, rig cam. It is just taking the position of the ship, so we actually, that target that we put, the transform target was the ship itself. You could put anything else that you want in there. You could even make it the rig, rig cam, too. But I have this, you know, main camera is taking the target, which is the ship, our waveform, and we're taking its position. And now we're saying set the position of myself. So take the, the target position, sorry, take the camera's position and set it equal to the target's position, which is the ship, plus target dot up. So we're taking the vector up times our distance. So we're going up 10 and then plus target dot forward and then we're taking our distance so we're going up again or we're going forward now and we're going our distance divided by three so we're actually moving forward just a little bit so when we're looking top down if we want to look at that again we give ourselves a little bit of space ahead of us so we can see so I'm going to press C once and now this is our top cam which is really a top down cam and now we can see you know our ship isn't right in the middle it's it's down a little bit so that gives us some space to see ahead and if we wanted to see behind us to see what we're doing you know in terms of motion and where we've been which obviously we may want to do um, we would actually change that to like a negative number multiply that or add you know multiply the distance um, times negative one this target dot forward times 
negative distance divided by three or whatever number you wanted to put. So this is really just saying move it forward or backwards a little bit. And then um, we're taking our transform dot rotation and we're setting that equal to the target rotation times quaternion dot Euler. And we are basically saying rotate it 90 degrees F on the X axis. So we're rotating it down 90 degrees and that's what makes it look down. So you need your rotation times 90 degrees down to see right down on the ship. If you wanted to go on the bottom of the ship and look up, you do negative 90. Um, if you wanted to go to the right of the ship, you would have to do it on, I think, the Y? No, the Z, because the Z is forward. So anyway, you would play around with it. Um, I think that's right. But um, yeah, that's how top cam works. We're actually just calculating it, but it's basically the same as a rig. We're just calculating where it's at instead of actually setting it and, and putting an object. Rig, again, so much easier. If you wanted to have like six different views and six different rigs, go for it because uh, it's really so easy to set up. You don't have to guess uh, which way am I going to rotate it, you know. Um, so finally, we're going to go to our back cam. And the back cam is actually the follow cam, quote unquote. Um, this is the one that's actually following. And this is how we're doing this. So I have calculate position. So we are using our camera position is going to be the target's position. So our ship minus target dot forward times distance. So we're actually setting ourselves behind the ship times our distance um, plus target dot up times distance times 0 0.25 up. And so what we're saying is um, I am going up a little bit and then I'm going up the same distance as a distance but by one quarter instead of the full distance. So it's always kind of going to be behind the ship and then up a little bit so we're looking uh, we can see the top of the ship just a little bit. Um, then our smooth position is actually the reason we're doing a smooth position is so that we're smoothing the motion of our camera. So when we are moving our ship around um, the it's or you know thrusting forward we're actually going to slowly catch up to it. We're not going to be like right behind it all the time. We're not locked in. You know, the ship goes and then like, oh, we got to accelerate. And then we try to catch up. So we slowly catch up to it. And then so our transform dot position actually isn't going to be the camera position. It's going to be uh, the smooth position. So the smooth position is basically lurping between our position and the camera position uh, with the smooth time. So lerp is just kind of... Um, what it's saying is it's calculating, okay, here's the next position, here's my current position, and I want to be there, but I don't just want to linearly go there. I was like, I don't want to go, oh, you know, they start moving, I start moving. I slowly accelerate, and then I speed up, and then I'm, I'm going at a certain speed to catch up, and then as I get closer, I slow down, um, and, that's, and that's how the motion is. So it's kind of a, you know, it feels like there's momentum, you have back and forth. Um, then we have calculate rotation. So I am basically setting this angle. Angle right here is math.absolute. What I'm saying is I want to find the angle uh, between my rotation and the target rotation. And I want to find the absolute value of that angle because it could be negative. But I want to know, you know, is it 90 degrees? Is it 180? And now my calculation is going to be really simple. What am I using this angle for? I'll show you in, in this next line here. So my rotation now is going to be the quaternion dot rotate towards. So we're saying rotate me towards the same rotation as the object. So, uh, and this is going to be, so we're saying take my current rotation and move it towards the target rotation, again, the ship. And what I'm saying is the speed should be the rotation speed plus the angle. So remember, our rotation speed is 10F. But is that angle we calculate up here, the difference in how far or the difference in how much these, these two objects are, are in and their angle, we are actually going to increase the speed with which we try to follow it so we can close that gap when it gets really big. The bigger the gap gets, the faster I'm going to try to catch up. And the smaller it gets, the more I'm going to slow down until I hit my, my minimum, which is 10F. So, and then we're going to multiply that times time dot delta time. But there's one thing to consider. I am using fixed update and fixed update, you can use late update, which is one thing I've seen everyone use, but when there's a rigid body involved, for whatever reason, uh, if you use fixed, if you use late update with the rigid body, there is a lot of stuttering. It stutters and stutters and stutters, and it doesn't, 
like you can't fix it by tweaking anything it just keeps stuttering so use fixed update whenever you're using rigid body calculations and then your your rotation is going to be smooth if you're using transform and you try to use fixed update to follow um, with like any cam really then you're also going to get stuttering there so if you don't use a rigid body for calculating how you move your ship then don't use fixed update use late update but if you do then keep your calculations running on fixed update for the camera as well so that is really all i've got for this for this video today uh, if you guys like this go ahead and hit the like button i want to thank you guys for watching and i hope to see you next time